Hi, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is your friend Han again, and uh, it is great to see you here tonight. And uh, tonight, I'm very, very excited. As we all know, uh, Kendo is being very, very hot lately, right? I mean, um, a lot of people saying it's easy to make money on Kendo. Some, some of the, you probably already making a lot of money with Kendo right now. Just haven't told, told me yet, right? So uh, anyway, um, so today I have. Uh, if you are Candle, my candle friends, so today I have something uh, absolutely fantastic to share with you. And uh, please allow me to introduce the product name, and that is Candle Buddy, as you can, as you can see over here. And uh, Candle Buddy is made a guy uh, which you, you probably never heard of before. Uh, his name is uh, Tudo, Tudo, Tudor. I can always, I can never pronounce his name. Tudor. It's like two door you know two door <laughs> anyway so uh, he has a quick he is a uh, candle seller himself and he has a uh, uh, made a uh, he's living off a of candle right now and he's also a ghost writer for other candle book um, creator right so I have to invite him um, to be with us today to give his perspective of candle business and uh, if you can you don't have the time you don't have the language skills to write a candle book, what should you do? How should you hire a ghost writer, you know? And after you've written the book, what are you gonna do next? How do you get that keyword uh, rank? How do you know which keyword to rank? You know, sometimes when you search, when you rank your candles to the non-related keywords, you basically waste your time, right? It's like Google. If you rank it for the wrong keyword, you screwed. So this kind of brings back to this uh, awesome software. This software works with both. Um, Mac and PC, and I love those softwares. This is the Mac version, and there's also a PC version. It tracks down, um, if you are a candle seller, pay attention right now, it tracks down the exact keywords you need to target. Uh, it tells you what people are really searching for. So you, you can pick the keyword, put on the title, and on the you know those seven keyword areas, where you can uh, have people to find you. Now he's using this software currently ranked number two for the keyword back pain, and which is one of his um, uh, favorite niche right now. Okay, so uh, I invite him to come to the interview to talk about what he does to make money on Candle and how do you rank those keywords. And uh, at the end of the interview, he's going to introduce this awesome uh, software. And stay tuned, watch the demo video so you know exactly how it works. So get your pen and paper ready. Uh, watch this awesome, awesome interview here, and uh, enjoy the demo video as well. And look out for my email tomorrow, uh, and uh, so you can get the early, early bird price. And and the, the price is so affordable; it's only like se starting out is like seven dollars. See, the other software does, out there are a lot more than that, right? As we all know. So that's I'm very, very excited to bring this brand new tool to add to your Kindle toolkit and. Uh, uh, started making some more money for you and uh, to get that unfair advantage for you in a sense Hey, heck, it's only seven dollars, right? So for now, let's go enjoy this interview and uh, learn a lot of from two door two door I like his name two door <laughs> door frame <laughs> Anyway, so this is your friend Han and, uh, and I'll be seeing you soon and keep smiling until next time keep smiling and I'll be talking to you soon. Cheers. Hi, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is your friend Han again, and it is great to see you here. And uh, today, uh, this afternoon, I'm very, very excited to uh, introduce Tudor to you for the very, very first time. And uh, uh, he's probably one of those uh, uh, underground, doesn't come up to the market, a marketer that does the real thing uh, in the background. And uh, um, once in a while, he pop up to share uh, what what's working. So he will be here to share some awesome, awesome tips on candles and. Uh, uh, if you're not into candle book yet, he's gonna uh, teach you why you should get in candle. And uh, if you don't know how to write your book, he actually is a ghostwriter. So he's gonna give you his unique perspective. If if you you always want to write your own book, but you don't want to write it, what how are you gonna go about doing it? Okay. So pay attention, grab your pen and paper, get ready. And at the end of this interview, he's gonna introduce a very very affordable solutions uh, when it comes to ranking uh, your book on inside the candle bookstores um you know when you write a book you gotta get people to notice so this this tool this is an awesome software tool he makes so affordable uh that you know any any beginner marketer or intermediate or anyone can pick it up at a very affordable price 
uh, gonna make your life so much easier. So you wanna pay attention to that as well. He's gonna go in detail how he works, all that stuff, and who needs it, all that great stuff. So um, before we get into the, all this excitement here, uh, let's kind of learn how Tudor got started with the internet marketing, and and but most importantly, what did he exactly do to achieve a level of success he has today? So Tudor, uh, would you kind of uh, be kind, take over the mic and kind of share your unique internet marketing story with us today. All right. First off, uh, thanks for uh, having me um, and uh, thanks for giving me the spotlight to say so. Uh -huh. um, so to put it in um, in a few words, I'm, I guess I, I had a few stories to tell uh, and that's uh, what sort of directed me towards um, Kindle okay and um, I I believe I first started I was very interested in um, uh, in nutrition. nutrition so I started off um, writing I actually started off blogging and then I turned towards uh, Kindle okay um, so I played around with um, some writing about uh, organic foods, um, local um, local food markets, and local okay. food uh, movements, and um, then I thought I would get a little bit more personal, and uh, I started uh, writing about my uh, struggles for a lifetime with back pain, which okay. I managed to overcome, and um, it turned into a book. Um, that actually did pretty well. Um, it it ranked in uh, two categories uh, at uh, number one and number six uh, in the paid categories. It's easy. It's really easy to rank when the book is free, but when you get paid, that's when it becomes a real uh, challenge. So okay. it was interesting to experience that and. Um, I uh, I built a bit of a case study based on um, on what I did to um, achieve all that. Um, then I went off to uh, write more about about exercise and nutrition in relation to back pain. Um, and uh, in addition to that, word got around uh, about uh, my writing, and I started writing for other people as well. Oh, okay. So as a ghostwriter. As a ghostwriter, exactly. So, so in, enlighten people who doesn't know what the term ghostwriter is. What exactly is a ghostwriter? Oh, as a ghostwriter, basically, um, you write the book for someone else who's going to publish it. Okay. You get paid for it, mm -hmm. and they have... Um, all the rights to that work. So basically, your name is not going to show up anywhere. Uh, that book is belongs to your um, to your client, uh -huh. and uh, they get to do with it whatever they want. If they want to put it on Kindle, they can put it on Kindle. They, if they want to publish it in print or everywhere, uh, whichever way they want to market it, it doesn't matter. If it makes one dollar or a hundred thousand dollars it doesn't it doesn't affect you in uh, any way um, you get you get you basically as ghostwriter you get to pay up front whatever the um, fee is right and then whatever exactly. the, whatever the um, profit or, or stuff um, your client makes that's that's all totally his or hers absolutely that's exactly how it works okay okay cool so um, that kind of kind of leads to to my next question so why why did you pick up I, I see the natural flow here like you know you 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 must be a natural writer you love to write your blogging and go to Kindle but you know what there there are tons of stuff you can you can do with your writing skills why did you pick up Kindle as one of the uh, major sources for your income um I think the first uh, incentive was that it's easy. Okay. Um, it's uh, there's a lot of material available on um, on how to publish um, 
on uh, Kindle. There's a lot of products out there, um, and it's it's fairly straightforward, um, easy to learn, and you also gain exposure to pretty much the largest marketplace. Yeah, it's all buyers. <laughs> Everybody on Amazon is there to shopping to buy something, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, um, and and it's very uh, versatile in terms of uh, back end earnings. I didn't talk a lot about that, but you don't just make money with your Kindle sales. Uh, there's uh, back end strategies that you can apply to your books to uh, build uh, customer lists, to build, um, to generate uh, affiliate income. So it's pretty versatile and there's a right. lot of methods that, it, that work. I think a lot of people looking at, you know, you selling candle for a dollar or sometimes a penny, sometimes a giveaway for free, they look at the front end stuff. They think, hey, you know, I have to sell maybe a million copies to make it worth a while. But what they don't understand is most successful candle author actually make the most money at the back end, right? Am I correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right, so uh, so the right way to do candle marketing is probably using candle book as a lead gen, um, get the buyer build up. Then you can introduce to your next book, your series of books, and other products, and build your authorities. Uh, would wouldn't you say that's that's the right way mindset when it comes to marketing with the candle books, or do you have other opinion about it? I think it uh, depends. There's no one right way. Um, it depends on the market that you're uh, catering towards. Um, for certain markets, it works like that. In uh, in fiction, um, however, uh, it it doesn't really apply. But for nonfiction, yes, it's it's a really good strategy that um, I see it working as we speak. Awesome, awesome. So and. Uh I'm gonna ask you a couple questions, but I want to kind of get to this the biggest obstacle for for most of people. Uh, like for me, I mean, um, English is not my native language, and uh, um, writing is not something I, I probably enjoy to do at this moment. I don't have the time. So, and I think that's probably one of the obstacle people uh, trying to get into candle, but they haven't had the time, or they don't they can't write, or English is not their language. Um, as a ghostwriter, can you give some your from your unique perspective? How should someone go about solving that problem? Now, if if it's hiring a ghostwriter like you, what other criteria should people looking for? How how do I know I should hire you or someone else? How do I know which one's better? Are there are there any easy way to filter them through? And how do you how should you pricing them? And and what, what, how do you know how much to pay them? All that great stuff. And uh, anything else you would like to do in there as well? Okay, that was uh, quite a few questions. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be able to remember all of them. Sure, I'll I'll I'll, hit, I'll, I'll remind you if you forget anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so let me start with the the first obstacle. Mm -hmm. Obviously, my my first language isn't English. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's easy to pick that up, mm -hmm. but. Um, the people that I uh, wrote for, most of them, come to think about it, uh, their first language is English. Oh, they are English, okay. Maybe they don't have the time. <laughs> yet. <laughs> uh, yet, um, they obviously had other uh, choices. Uh -huh. um, I'm, I, I definitely didn't get the jobs because I was uh, cheap. Uh -huh. There's a lot of uh, less um, costly options um, out there, uh -huh. um, but it's possible to uh, to overcome uh, this um, obstacle. And uh, the secret is uh, you have to start writing, um, yeah. and basically you just keep going and improving, and you get feedback. Um, on your work and you just keep improving it's just like exercise it's just like uh, improving your memory or yeah. any skill uh -huh. so I, I was I was more thinking about a way that, that people just don't want to write it but they still want to make money with a candle and they want to just go out 
hire people like you um, to do the entire process for them. Uh, what 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 I'm really trying to get down to is how do they know um, how much to pay them? Who is the right uh, right right pick for the book? Because you know, uh, as you know, there's a lot of writer out there. So um, how do they know that you know what what are the process? Do you do you ask the writers to send some sample writing so they can read it, or what, what's the process exactly? Um. The sample bit, I think, uh, works really well because, especially as a as a ghost writer, many people, at least many that I know, have uh, already some work that's published somewhere. Okay. So, for instance, if someone asks me for a sample, mm -hmm. I'll just tell them, "Hey, go to the Kindle store." I don't even have to give them my book title. I just go go to the Kindle store, type "back pain" in the search field. Uh, I'm first, uh -huh. not to brag or anything. Uh -huh. uh, sometimes second, um, and click on look inside. You don't have to buy my book. Uh -huh. um, click on look inside, and there you go. You have um, you have a sample, and if you want more, I'll send you more. Uh -huh. But that should be enough. Okay. Um, and for someone who's looking, who's starting from zero, like with no connection. I, with no connections, I think the Warrior Forum is a good place to start. There's a lot. Okay. There's um, uh, there's a lot of Warrior, um, a lot of WSOs that offer ghost uh, writing. One of my friends actually offered one a little while ago, and um, she's actually doing fiction. And uh, there's a lot of demand for that, especially in the um, in the period where nonfiction doesn't do so great, like okay. before September. There's a lot of demand for uh, fiction from what I've uh, seen. But in the months leading up to the end of the year, um, you'll see a lot more demand for um, for non-fiction. At least that's what I've noticed. That's interesting trend. trending there. Well, it, Thanksgiving's coming up and people want to uh, cook more. Uh, okay. So they're looking for recipes. Oh. And then there's your New Year's resolutions. So okay. they look for exercise books and resources. And inspiration. Okay, so um, my my next question is, how should they pick a topic to get into? Like, I mean, there's so many way, so many things you can write about. What, what are your criteria to, to pick the right topic to write and, and make sure after you write it, you you can get some income back in. You can sell it. Mm hmm. Um. A good um, research method is to just explore that niche to see uh, what kind of um, demand, what, what kind of attention it gets on Amazon. Okay. So if you want to write about, I don't know, let me pick something, home improvement. Okay. You just go there and look for the books in that category or you do a keyword search mm -hmm. and you look at the um, number of reviews um, of those top books in um, in that uh, category or in your search results and um, you look at the ranking um, if it's a good ranking like below a hundred thousand below eighty fifty thousand already when you get below thirty thousand it means the demand is pretty high there so if you see several books that are ranking um, high and have a good ranking in terms of overall Kindle store, mm -hmm. uh, then you've got a niche that's getting a lot of um, attention. Another thing that I was doing last year was, and in the first part of 2013, was I would grab the numbers of uh, books published and I would put them in a spreadsheet and I would do, um, I put a, together a little bit of a formula that gave me the trend. Uh, for the past 30 days, 90 days, 60 days, and I would spot trends that were going up. And this is why I made that statement before uh, when I said that towards the holidays some certain niches are going up. Mm -hmm. um, so, like I said, there's, there's two ways. These two ways work. Now, you cannot do what I just mentioned. You cannot do the number thing anymore because uh, I... I see that the, those numbers disappeared from the Amazon page. Oh. They don't show you how many books they have oh. there. They don't show you how many they published. 
in uh, in the past 30 or 60 days. Mm -hmm. um, I saw that they played around with those numbers in the past six months, and now they made them all disappear. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Maybe they'll bring them back. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But the first method that I mentioned is good if you want to spot, uh, if you want to see how much attention those books are getting and uh, w how much demand they're uh, getting in that in that niche. Right. So after they 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 did the research. They find people write a book for them, or they write themselves, uh, whichever the choice they want to do. Um, how do you get book get people noticed? I mean, obviously, you need to rank some places to uh, to uh, uh, you know to make sales. How do you know which keyword to rank, and uh, uh, how do you get your book rank up there? Because you're competing with a lot of other candle book out there. Obviously, competition is uh, is a big factor here, and it could be quite intimidating for some um, marketers. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, you need to counter <laughs> you need to counter that with uh, certain um, methods. Okay. And uh, there's a lot of promotion methods that um, the that authors uh, use mm -hmm. these days. Um, and uh, those include Facebook groups, blogs, uh, paid promotion sites. Uh, there's lots of resources out there. So yeah, if you, we get into that, we we can talk for another 45 minutes. Okay. Um, but an important part of uh, getting the right kind of attention is picking the right keywords to rank for. Okay. Um, and. Uh, um, I mean, anyone who's familiar with the, the KDP platform knows that you can rank by the words that you have in your book title, and you can rank by seven other keywords that you can enter when you publish or edit your book details. Right. Um, right. So, yeah, that's where it's important to pick words that people actually look for. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, if you pick... Um, something that sounds cool like mm, let me think like dog training shortcuts mm -hmm. um, and it sounds pretty cool you're gonna put it in your title you're gonna put it in in your um, uh, in your keywords um, and you'll see that you rank for it but actually there's nobody looking for that mm -hmm. then all that is wasted obviously yeah, it's kind of like Google ranking. If you're ranking uh, non-buyer words and, uh, you know, get all the traffic, but nobody buys. So it's kind of like uh, if you have some kind of tool out there, you turn what people are looking for and you rank for it, that's, that's more targeted. Um, that, that's kind of lead to the, the, the product you're going you're gonna to launch um, uh, tomorrow. Um, can you um, talk about the name of the product and then talk about what exactly is this software do? Okay, uh, the name of the product is uh, Kindle Buddy. Okay. Um, it's, uh, we came up with that because in uh, the past little while it's, be it's become uh, um, my research buddy. Okay. Um, and um, basically what it does, it's, it's very simple. Um, you, all you have to do is enter a seed keyword mm -hmm. um, and it'll dig out um, the keywords that people are actually searching for in the Kindle store. Oh, okay. So, yeah, based on a seed keyword, let, let's say you enter home improvement, the example that I used before, mm -hmm. um, it's going to return everything that contains home improvement uh, that is currently being searched by, um, by the Amazon uh, customer. Okay. And those are the keywords that um, authors should use in their title and um, in their keyword field uh, in the KDP screen when they upload their book. So basically they have eight keywords that they can pick from there, use them in the title and in the keyword field. and those are words that they want to rank for because people are actually looking for them. So this is the same tool you use to rank back pain, right? As number one, number two, depends on what time you get in there. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So cool. So let's talk about um, 
the price point and and uh, uh, before we be talking about price point here, let, let's talk talk about who is going to be really benefit from this software. Um, anyone who's who has any number of books on uh, Kindle, okay, and anyone who's planning on publishing anything anytime soon. So anyone who wants to get into Kindle is going to draw extreme value. Um, from this tool uh, because they want like anything that brings your book in front of your uh, potential customers is uh, going to be an invaluable tool absolutely so you can you can be the best writer but if nobody knows about you you kind of waste your time so <laughs> absolutely it happens in it works in every market right so um, let's talk about exactly um, so, oh, also this software worked with a Mac and PC right there's a there's a PC version and there's a Mac version as well. Yes. Okay. So um, let's talk about what exactly are they getting in the front end offer and also what the price point is, and uh, is it is it going to be on diamond sale and how long are you going to keep this special uh, price opening? Okay, we are um, offering this on a on a pre-launch price. We're starting it at uh, the very low price of. Seven dollars mm -hmm. for Unlim software. Yeah, it's unlimited license, or yes, absolutely, it's unlimited licenses. Basically, they can use it if they have six computers on in uh, their home. They can uh, put it on their computers. All we're asking is, don't share. Obviously, don't sell it to other people. A lot of work uh, went into this, and if you want to you know um, us to be able to provide such quality at such good prices obviously um, that goes without saying right right so um, and and the, what exactly are they getting in the front end is just the software itself and unlimited in uh, the front end uh, we also included um, a report on how to write book descriptions that sell Okay. That's the actual title of the report. Um, basically, it's a how-to. Um, the title is self-explanatory, and uh, the the premise of that is the book description is pretty much like your sales letter. Uh, copy. Yeah, like your sales letter. It's the one thing that can turn an undecided buyer, um, customer, potential customer, into into a buyer. Okay, so and do you have any OTOs? Uh, yes, uh, there is an, uh, a back-end uh, offer. It um, it includes 15 customizable uh, covers that they can are ready to be customized with their own titles and uh, author names, okay. uh, and uh, they cover several um, niches. And uh, there's, in terms of uh, covers, there's also an unannounced uh, bonus, but I'm not going to um, add anything about okay. that. We'll just leave it at that. Okay, so what's the price point for the OTO? $17. Okay. Again, these, uh, these uh, are high-quality covers. Uh, it's not the kind of cover you get on uh, Fiverr for, um, for $5. Uh, to get this kind of quality from a um, from a reliable outsourcer, you would pay, I would say, twenty-four to thirty dollars per cover. We're offering fifteen for this price, uh, so it's it's a pretty good offer. Okay, all right, awesome. Now, is this the only OTO you have, or do you have more? This is the only uh, okay. back end, the only OTO um, that we have. Okay, all right. So I'm going to ask you a very very tough questions. Um, this, this, you know, to, to people who listen to this, um, they probably, you know, in their mind think about, hey, I, this is cool and all, all that good stuff. So, um, but they kind of on the back of their head is, hey, I have other tools, um, you know, might be doing the same thing. So my question to you is, what is so unique about this product and why should people get it? And how is this different than the other uh, available tool that is out there? Okay, first off, this um, software tool 
pulls the uh, information off of the uh, Amazon uh, database, so it returns the most popular searches uh, that are currently performed by the Amazon customers in the Kindle store. Okay. Um, in addition to that, um, I already mentioned this, we make this ridiculously affordable right. for um, anyone who wants to get into the, um, in the, into the Kindle market or anyone who's already involved there and they want to add this tool to their uh, arsenal, uh, it works um, and we, we made it uh, more than affordable. And uh, another um, benefit is that it's really fast. Okay. It'll return uh, within seconds. It'll return the results uh, based on your uh, seed keyword. And it works. It delivers results as we speak. Okay, cool. Awesome. So this is a, this is a two way. You're actually using dating in your own Kindle business, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Cool. Awesome. So, um, yeah, for those who are um, on here with us, make sure you stay tuned. Watch the a do more video that we have ready for you, so you know exactly how this thing works, and most importantly, how it's really gonna benefit your candle sales. And get that book rank up there, and don't pick the wrong keyword. Pick the right keyword where people need it, looking for, and therefore gonna make more sales. Um, and Tudor, and thank you so much for being with us today. Um, I think I got all the questions I need to ask you right now. Uh, before we leave here today, do you have any final words of wisdom you would like to share with my audience? Um, just, uh, you know what, uh, to go back to what we discussed earlier, if you're getting into this market and you want to write your books, just keep writing. Um, don't let uh, insecurities get in the way. Okay. Uh, if you can add uh, uh, tools like this to your business, don't hesitate. We have a 60-day money-back guarantee, and uh, you'll you'll get more than your uh, money's worth. And uh, think about the covers too. Uh, there's going to be a peak in uh, in um, in demand in uh, certain niches with the upcoming holidays. This is the right time to get, get your books ready and published because they're going to be new and hot, and they're going to be in demand and they're going to sell. All right, so the, I guess the final word of wisdom is if a Tudor can do it, so can you, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Tudor, thank you so much again, and I'm sure um, I will be talking to you soon, and uh, I'm looking forward to play around with this too as well. All right, Han, it was a pleasure talking to you. All right, bye-bye. Take care. Cheers. Hi, everyone. Uh, Tudor here. I just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of uh, what Kindle Buddy can do for you in order to put your book in front of your customers when they look for any keyword in the Kindle store. So basically, you can rank for the keywords of your choice in uh, the Kindle store but um, that's not going to be of much use to you if you're ranking for keywords that nobody is looking for. You want to rank for keywords that people are actually searching for, and this is where this program comes into place. So here's how it works. You're just going to enter your seed keyword. I am going to use, uh, as an example, back pain followed by an asterisk and I'm going to click start and it's just gonna return the keywords that are actually searched for in uh, the Kindle store um, and these are the words that I'm actually going to use when publishing my book or when editing the title in uh, the KDP screen so, for instance, if I'm in this screen where I enter uh, the details of my book when I publish it for the first time or whenever I want to edit it, I'm just going to add the keywords of my choice here, targeting your book to customers. And 
basically this is where the keywords uh, go. You have up to seven keywords. Now, once you've ranked for them, your book is in front of your customers. For instance, if I look for back pain, let, let me do another search. It's one of my um, my titles is showing up here. Um, if let me do the search from the beginning. There you go. Um, definitely a word that people look for. And um, if I go back pain exercises, there you go, second spot, still in front of them because people uh, look for these uh, keywords. So uh, it's pretty straightforward. If you want to get your books in front of uh, your potential customers, whenever they search for certain words in the Kindle store this is the tool that you need so get your hands on it uh, now while the price is uh, still low and um, have fun and have a great day thank you Thank you.